I hope traders and investors alike were green today. What another awesome day in the markets. Beautiful downtrend, then reversed, had a nice uptrend, had good signals on the reverse, respected the trend lines to the downside, respected them to the upside as well. Very nice trending day. I wish every day was like this. Uh, so CVI came out today. We were expecting, or we had last month was 5.0, this month 4.9. Had a lot of hype around those numbers. Uh, we didn't really think they were that great. Um, and we did snatch on them. And that's, we were expecting a pullback after that push up. So, But month over month was up 0.4%. Um, not the greatest. I'm not saying they're bad, but not as much hype should have been surrounding that as there was so let's just get going through some charts and we'll talk about earnings and stuff as we go through some charts we've had some amazing earnings come out we've had a few bad ones um but considering the market the condition the market's in uh you know things are are still really holding in well you know so we haven't made a big pullback we're still trading in this range would like to still get out of this range but let's get looking at some charts uh, we did move to put the call ratio to the end of the list um, so breath, we did get a up move in breath today. So that was a nice move. MACD still showing this divergence here. We need to break up out of this area. Still respecting the nine there. We'll look at the spy chart as we get to it. Uh, so this is the bonds, 10 year bonds, still trying to push up, still trying to, to pull yields back. They move it inverse with each other. Yields pull back, showing interest rates falling. Would be nice to see that pull back. Uh, the U.S. dollar still very weak down here, struggling to get above that 9 and 20. VIX, VIX weak today. It looks like it, we did get a nice push up at one point. Uh, we opened up, ripped higher, and then pulled back on that reversal. Had a lot of indicators pointing that we were going to go up on that reversal. So uh, crude been doing a lot of stuff with this chart lately. So we talked about this candle in a short. Uh, almost did a morning star. It's not textbook. Uh, it's not really a star with all that wick, and it's it, it's not a star. But you know, you get the the point. Very bullish candle here, but pushing up on crude. Need to hold that daily nine. Do break that downtrend. Uh, Apple still trending higher. I mean, just a nice move, not a you know not a massive move out of it today. Still trading in a pretty tight range, but just a strong chart, very strong chart. Uh, you can see here on the intraday pushed up would have been a nice dip to buy if you're a dip buyer for a big move higher there. A gold gold's pushing up here as well. Uh, so we closed with a spinning top today. Uh, worth keeping an eye on as long as we're respecting that daily nine. SPX daily trading sideways here, just in a very tight range, uh, advanced decline lines, just trading sideways, not much, just not much happening there. Uh, AI, AI did fill this gap. We did manage to get that filled broke and closed above this resistance level maybe this can push up i would watch this trend line even though you'd be cutting through candles but on the way up i would just keep an eye on that uh, your 50 is probably trying to come down and tell you there's resistance there now uh, amc moving lower i would draw a trend line through there and see how that lines up might be able to get a trend break play uh, you can see amc here pretty choppy today nice move down with a nice reversal then give it all back a great trades if you're not trying to sit, sit into them that could have paid very nicely uh, amd strong push at open and then started giving it back towards the end of the day a lot of stuff was pulling back uh, you can see amazon here amazon very strong and if we look at the monthly chart uh, we'll look at the monthly chart in a minute so amazon's very strong here on, on the daily chart watch this level on this wick of uh, the monthly we took the trend line out or the weekly, we took the trend line out on that chart. Uh, ARC, ARC gapped up today. We had a low close candle trying to hold that daily 200. Nice reversal there off support, though. Uh, AMD been pushing higher, giving quite a bit back. We're showing some exhaustion up here. So if the market does pull back, if the market is FOMO bullish, then I would keep an eye on this for some more upside. But if the market pulls back, this could be a good one to watch for a pullback. Uh, do got a uh, great stone there. Nice push up here on AMD's weekly. That's not a great stone. That's a shooting star, uh, actually. Affirm. 
nice push up here as well. They front run this up into earnings. Uh, had pretty wide range today, but you can see it. You know, the close was was you know not much higher than the open, but at least they was it's a spin and top. At least it's a a high close spin and top. See what they want to do with that. It could use another inside day or two to let that nine catch up. You can see here today some rough action, but it trended higher. It's been a difficult one to hold on to. Uh, a L L Y tried to push up. You can see it kind of gapped up in pre market and they sold big. Which that was one of the signs for us today. We were watching the banks as well. We always watch the banks. Uh, Amazon moving higher. Banks can provide some nice trades, but just nice knowing what sectors are doing. Here's Amazon Weekly. Obviously, this candle has not closed yet. Uh, doesn't close till the end of the week, but we are above that weekly downtrend, so that is a good sign. Amazon's been showing a lot of strength. And as we can see, we are not super extended here at all. Apple, very strong chart weekly, still trading. Obviously, this candle doesn't close, but right now we're trading with a bullish uh, inside Harami. See if we can get follow through off that previous daily candle. Uh, Boeing trying to push back up. This market right now is just tough to hold on to. I, I wouldn't want to be trying to trade it, uh, trying to hold on to anything until we break out of this range. It's been so choppy. Uh, Bitcoin breaking back down. Below the weekly, we've seen a nice move down on that today. Uh, has recovered considerably, but a very wide range candle there today as well. And that's you know what we've seen in the markets. Boeing sold hard at open. I mean, just dropped and it did recover. Nice recovery. CVX down candle there today. We had a crude report, a big down candle there. A charge point, charge point, big candle here as well. Nice gap up, nice bearish engulfing candle there. So see if we can get follow through to the downside. Got some daily moving averages, got to take out. Coin had a decent day, did pull back here, but we did close, you know, high close candle. Rate does need to take that uh, daily 50 out. They close right under that daily 50. Uh, X, XLC, this is communication sector. This is charts about a year out, but you can see this inverted head and shoulders here. Uh, so, and we've been seeing a lot of the communication names, including names like Meta, getting, uh, you know, seeing some some bullishness behind them. So this is just worth keeping an eye on. Just one sector um, that's been lagging. Commun communication has been lagging. So maybe, maybe, just maybe if the market does sell, maybe we could see some rotation. Or if the, the names have been holding the market up sell, because I know a lot of, including me are worried about is, you know, these names can only carry the market so long, not seeing any other participation. Uh, so it would be nice if these you know big names that have been pushing the market, if they, we do see a pullback there, we're looking for rotations. That's why we're looking in the sectors. Uh, XLP looks like it's pulling back. Uh, so XLP was strong, helping push the market and we're seeing a pullback there. So DraftKings uh, tried to push up out of this flag. We did move lower today. Uh, I mean, still holding the flag, but not not the prettiest breakout of a flag. Uh, Lily trying to push higher. Uh, this could be a flight to safety. The news is out on the drug, the Alzheimer's news, and I really didn't expect this to move higher like it is. Getting some decent volume coming in in the volume profile. So if we can clear that area, you could see some price acceleration. Uh, XLE. Very choppy down candle today. That crude report come out, but very, very choppy action. Google, the AI uh, event happened today. They seem to have liked it. You can see they bought it up. Um, this, this has provided some really nice trades the last couple of days. Google's been, been one of the ones that we've had on the radar. Uh, Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs closing lower. I need to see this break below this candle for me to be interested into it. They're just so choppy. I'm really not interested to the banks at all. I don't even know why I said that. I wouldn't have traded it anyway. IWM, what a wild, wild ride here as well. You know, we had this big gap up on that CPI data. We really didn't think it was going to hold, um, and it snatched hard. Uh, you can see down here we got a nice gap fill. Got the reversal, got a hammer candle at your gap fill, got your reversal, was able to dip back below it. Then had a very nice signal here. You can see uh, very morning starish and really like this pattern because, I, you know, as we know, I like the candles when the candle on the right side actually close higher than the candle on the left side when it comes to these patterns and nice breakout with a very nice push up. Uh, that reversal showed plenty of signs on 
there were signals on different time frames all the way through showing that reversal. A very, very nice move there. Uh, the cues, you can see the cues are breaking out and pushing higher. All this trauma going, you know, drama going on around us and the tech's just steady, steady pushing. Um, you can see the cues here, very strong reversal, same type play. We filled the gap. When we did pull back, we were able to come down. We filled this gap with a very nice reversal there. Very nice gap fill, please. Very nice. Perfect textbook. Q's still breaking out of this weekly flag, pushing up. We've been watching that flag for, for a couple weeks that it was forming. JP Morgan, very choppy here as well. Probably going to pull pull these banks off now. Uh, Las Vegas Sands. I almost pulled this off, but this is looking. So we know that these casinos have had a nice run pushing up. This looks like a very small head and shoulders pattern here. I didn't draw it out. Uh, we got this flag coming back. You got your bull flag, which is your uh, you know, shoulder. You got your head to push up in reversal. Then you got a bear flag on this side. Very head and shoulders pattern there. Uh, to keep an eye. Got this gap to fill too. If it gets into that gap, maybe you see a move down. You do got some volume coming in for, for plenty of support in there. Could could see a, a nice candle or two break out on that. So it's worth keeping an eye on. Uh, Lockheed Martin trying to hold this 200. It did break below it, trying to get back above it. I'm just not interested in that chart. It provided some uh, great opportunities on the downside. It's made its move. Let it put in a base chop around. You know, we, we don't chase stuff like that. We go look for the next move. Uh, that provided two great opportunities. We, you know, covered that pattern. We covered this pattern. It's time to let it chop around, let the moving averages catch up, and then continue to trend. Um, Moderna, Moderna, a bearish engulfing candle here today. I need to be below this low down here for a move lower, but we did. This was a great support level, pushed up all from it, come back, tested it, broke it, actually went back above it, come out, retesting it, and then reject it today. So a break below those candles there, bearish on Moderna. Uh, Moderna intraday, very choppy action. Uh, uh, yesterday, today, very nice pullback. Pretty choppy yesterday. Mara trying to push up here. Uh, they had earnings. I didn't even look into them. Merck, Merck steady grinding higher. I mean, just, you know, so, some of that could be a flight to safety there as well. But they keep keep buying it up. A meta holding in, but we are below this nine. You can start to see the nine rolling over. Rejection would not be surprised to catch a gap fill. It, you know, watch your 20 day. And watch for a gap fill here. You can see we do have some support in this area. But where we have this gap, look at your volume profile where we have that gap. So getting a drop down, if we can break below these candles, move down, that would not be a big, you know, it's not a huge move. But for an options trader, that can be a very nice payout. You can see meta here. Uh, Today, same thing. Move up, come down. We've put in this little intraday double bottom, though, but we did break the neckline, but no big strong move there and sold by the end of the day. But some nice reversals there. It could have been a hard chart to trade, that's for sure. Uh, Microsoft pushing higher. Intraday here on Microsoft. Nice move up on this name. Very strong move today. So it's another one we had on the radar. Another weekly chart, very strong. So a lot of us, like we said earlier, are looking, you know, wondering what's going to happen when these charts do pull back and take a break. But if we can catch that right uh, rotations, the market will be okay. Like I said, the communication sector, we see a breakout there. That would be a help for some these tech names uh, pulling back and taking a breather. Uh, you can see Nike here. Nike rejected. Uh, still seeing if we're going to put in some kind of handle here, but seeing some serious rejection there, trying to move lower. Uh, NVIDIA, NVIDIA, this is NVIDIA's daily. You can see slowing down here, but we're still managing to put in them highs, but they are getting slower and slower. This is telling us that sellers are stepping in, you know, holding back the price from raging higher. And it could, this is one of the names that could use the pullback and put in a break. I don't mean all new low, but, you know, just pulling back for a few days could really affect the market. A proper rotation, that may not happen, but we are seeing some signs, you know, unable to push up and put in highs. You know, usually we don't hang around long. Uh, 
So we could, you know, we could stay in this range, but I'm expecting if we can't push up soon, we're going to end up going back, testing that double bottom, looking for a move down. On NVIDIA, big pullback here today as well. So they come out with some debt ceiling news and stuff like that. So it snatched the market and then recovered on it. And you can see in the video on the weekly. I mean, the chart's just a beast, but we called that out. So I did not expect when we called that out. I'll be honest, I didn't expect to get that kind of move out of it. But we knew the chart was bullish. Uh, NASDAQ, once again, you know, we closed higher today, closing out of this range, getting very close to breaking out of this area to where we can start moving a little freer. So we need to push up and get out of these heavy volume profile areas. Uh, you can see Netflix here. Netflix has been trading in this little downtrend that we have broken that downtrend trying to push up the nine and 20 trying to turn up see if we get a macd cross looks like some money's coming back into this we may be able to get a push up this is worth keeping an eye on uh pedalton breaking down big bearish engulfing candle today looking to break below that low i'll probably get ready to take that chart off too uh any chart you would like to see you know post them in the comment section we would love to talk about them uh, QQQ holding this 20 day on the monthly. Well, I should tell you 20 monthly. Robolex, nice push up there today. That earnings was not great, but they come for it. And that's all that matters. It doesn't matter what any of the reports are. It's all that matters that they come for it and you can make money with it. It's a short term opportunity. Take advantage of it. You're not marrying it. Get in there, get yours, and get out. Uh, Roku. So this is another one that gapped up, tried to push, and sold. Closed on, closed below the open on a low closed candle. SPX daily, you know, once again, got this double bottom. Definitely not trading like the NASDAQ. Unable to push up and put in that high like the NASDAQ and the Qs just did. Much stronger charts there. Uh, the diamond here as well, you can see the weakness in this chart. And you can see the weakness here in the uh, weekly chart for the diamond. You see, we barely, we did actually push up and close and had a, a bad breakout. Uh, pulling back but really we're just kind of flagging back into the nine we were able to push up put in a new high flagging back into the nine so we still could push and this is a weekly time frame uh there hasn't been too long seeing money come in and not a whole lot's going out which is a good sign anytime you pull back and you see low volume pullbacks or in your cfm you're seeing you know not a whole lot of money coming out coming out of the stock on your pullback that's actually a good sign it's a great sign seeing low volume on your pullbacks when it comes to your price action very, very good sign there. So you can see SPY today on the weekly. So we're starting to get some volume in this week. Uh, finally, now we had a decent volume day, but a lot better than yesterday. I think we only traded like 44 million shares or 49 million shares or something like that yesterday. It was like under 50 million. And that's low. Uh, no volume, no trade. A SPY here on the daily. We're going to go to this next chart. A SPY. This is your monthly chart. You can see these levels we've been talking about for two months. Still very big concerns are off those levels. I've been able to make money off those levels. So this is the SPY still trading in this cup. Kind of a weird double bottom handle here. Uh, this is the range that needs to be taken out. We're still watching this top of this wick. Every time we get into it, we can't get a close above that wick. And that's what we need to push up. It's like, I think it's uh, four four eighteen thirty one. I believe is what the top of that wick is. We have to get above. We have to get a close above the top of that wick. Uh, MACD is still not in our favor. Uh, like I say, decent volume today, but gotta say, big red volume bar. You know, this candle's got a lot of bullishness into it. I know it, it's a hammer candle at support. Hammer candles are supposed to be in downtrends, but the fact is, no matter what you can call it, what you want. You know the. We opened up and we got slammed down and the buyers were able to come back in and push this candle back up. So tomorrow's open is going to be very important. Uh, you know, will we open and be able to take this candle out? Will we gap up? Will we gap up in this range? This level is very heavy, but it's going to free up. If we can get that close above it, you can see the volume profile is a lot lighter. We just need that close above it and see if we can change that MACD around, get the moving averages turned up. Uh, but we're only going to play around here so much longer before we pull back can't put in new highs you, you got to pull back retest something even could be retesting a double bottom to push back up but you know we this is going to be a heavy level and we're going to need some good good buyers in the market and cpi wasn't enough to do it uh spy here nice push up and this debt ceiling stuff that's you know coming out it's providing great opportunities uh, but that drama the, it is affecting the market as well 
So once again, very nice moves here. Very nice. Big drops. Those drops paid well. Very strong reversal here back to the upside. Plenty of signals today. You can see right here on your 15, there's one of the signals, but we had signals on the 5 and the 1. A square, bearish engulfing candle. You know, big down candle there today. It's respecting that downtrend. CRM, CRM broke out of the 200 range and, you know, tight here. It's out of the Bollinger Bands. Very tight. You know, uh, doji, but it's worth keeping an eye on. Shop, shop, this nice move off this expanding volume has been able to trend higher and now it's trading sideways, holding in very well, trying to wait on that nine to catch up. Uh, could easily see a break below this candle body right here. I would look for a move down. Maybe that wick. You can break, catch it trying to break below that wick if you're looking for a scout, but watch this uh, candle body. I like it better below that candle body right there. Uh, down, Just looking for a flag play back down to the, to the nine, but I would not be quick to defer. I, I just wouldn't want to be the first one to short it or open puts on it. You know, Very strong MACD, and it looks like it has more. The expanding volume, uh, hot RSI, it looks like it's got more upside. But you may be able to catch a play back down to that moving average. Uh, Tesla, same thing today. It tried to push it open and pull back. It did try try to separate itself and push it open, though. Uh, XLK, nice little hammer candle there off the nine. Uh, Tesla, Tesla been able to push back into the box and moving lower. Could be a retest in that area. You see today opened up and moved lower, but still holding the 9 and 20. I don't like the way this 20 is starting to roll. Looks like it wants to roll over. Keep an eye on that. Filled half of the gap and then rejected. Another one, Uber. Not a bad report at all. Expanding volume. Been pushing up ever since. Very nice chart there. Could need to hang out or pull back to that 9. Very nice chart. Uh, Walmart. Walmart. You know, it's been trying to trend higher. Another down day there today, and we're seeing XLP getting weaker. Uh, XLF, the banks, I just don't really want anything to do with them right now. Exxon Mobil, you know, energy once again is getting choppy, but a nice move down off that nine. That was a very nice uh, bear flag move, if anybody called it. I think somebody might have traded Exxon today, actually. Uh, so the TLT this is the 20 year we actually closed back below this level again and bounced back out of it in pre-market uh it's one thing that we can watch we still have this gap down here and you can see the volume profile you can basically right here you can see this gap down here still got supports probably below this candle below this candle wick may get you down uh to fill that gap but just very you know undependable there keeps keeps gapping back up in the mornings and stuff like that so IWM weekly, we're trying to put it in an H cell pattern. Trying. We don't have it yet. We got our down candle. You know, we're putting in that rounded top. It's trying to pick up, still on the radar there. Hopefully that's not an H cell pattern. I mean, if you look, I know very getting, you know, shoulder, head. I know it would be downward sloping, but it's you know, or H cell pattern, you can catch it for a lower high. That's all really an H cell pattern is, except the H cell pattern is not a trend down lower high. It's a sharp move down, you know, a small push up where the buyers just get tore up and ripped back down. But you can see the bearishness on that chart. Now, you see, this is your daily chart. Your daily does not look quite so bad. It's a very solid, it's a very solid base, but it looks like a cup here. But very, very filled, a lot of coiling in there. So we could have a move coming just off that coiling. And if we take a look, or uh, put the call ratio is not updated, it's 93. We talked about that this morning. Uh, we are 48 now on the NASDAQ, so we're warming up. And on a New York Stock Exchange, we did push up it as well today we were in uh, 64 range we are now in a negative 33 range so a little bit of bullishness today in them candles which we've seen i hope you find this helpful and i will see you in the trading room